During the Libyan revolution that took down Muammar Gaddafi in 2011, the city of Misrata was ripped apart by some of the fiercest violence. And after the regime fell, this empty parking lot became Freedom Square, a monument to the thousands of Libyans who died in the fighting. But years of political and economic chaos have transformed Misrata yet again, and transformed the monument into a venue where young Libyans can blow off a little steam. This is Misrata's Freedom Square. Every Friday, just before sundown, about a hundred kids gather here on their day off to try and forget about the many problems facing Libya's future. Okay, so this is apparently going to be the guy that we can get a ride with. It's totally uh, beat up and looks like one of the craziest drivers here. Okay. things I've done in Libya, which is saying something. I am going to tell you that 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 I with upgraded engines and beefed up suspensions. In a country with cheap gas and an abundance of inexpensive car parts, they say they go through about eight sets of tires for each car every Friday night. A small price to pay for a taste of freedom in a country still recovering from a revolution. But you don't need a lot of experience to join the club. 16-year-old Mukhtar Yahya took his brother's modified BMW out tonight to see how quickly he could make the tires burst. It didn't take long before the teenager was just driving on his rims. Kunjamana, <laughs> 